Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on April 23rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, where we have you give you a look at space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well a look at world weather forecast. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms showing a lot of plasma dancing around the crusting side of our sun. That's on the left. And as well, we have that now Earth-facing sunspot grouping. Three sunspots Earth-facing right now. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Pretty large plasma filament erecting there on the right-hand side. Behind all of those sunspots. Looking at outgoing here. Not much to talk about. Our sun has actually been pretty quiet here for the past 24 hours. Give you another closer look at that large sunspot grouping and as well that plasma dancing around the surface of the sun. And right now we are going through a small space weather event as our solar winds have picked up over the last little bit. Looking at multi-spectrum here, pretty active region coming into view and not much to talk about for coronal holes small coronal hole developing here southern hemisphere last few images looking at lasco 2 and this is the last two days of imagery showing that solar flare which was talked about in the last episode and as well, quite a bit of plasma erecting and taking off from the sun, northwestern region. Solar X-ray flux is in B to C class range, as we did have an M class overnight. ISWA space prediction spiral, showing we are going through an event right now. And as well, you can see that here with our real-time solar wind sitting at 509 kilometers per second. And that's been going up and up throughout the day. Starting out the day just over 400 kilometers per second. Also notable there, the density. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 9 after being elevated from yesterday's. So an amplitude of 9, a quality of 8.9, power of 6. Now let's get to earthquakes here with... Just recently, the last 24 hours, but just recently, we did have a 5.0 earthquake here in Port McNeil, Canada. That's right, off the coast of British Columbia. Off the coast of Vancouver Island, a 5.0 earthquake has struck. And as well, we're seeing seismicity still going on through Alaska. 4.5 reported there today, but a lot of activity through the region as forecasted here with daily events. Pretty quiet, other than that 5.0 North American plate. That's pretty much the largest earthquake we've seen in a couple weeks through the North American plate. Notable earthquake there, Sebec, Maine, 2.5. Down into Corinto, Nicaragua, a 4.1 earthquake. And as well, Dibaba, Colombia, 4.5 there. Puerto Rico, seeing sizable 3.5, 3.5. 7 range down into central Peru here 68 kilometer depth 4.5 and as well a 4.3 123 kilometer depth Abra Pampa Argentina 282 kilometer depth 4.3 and that's the deepest the last 24 hours and then a few more 4.4s moving southward into Chile 4.8 reported there South Sandwich Islands Quiet across Africa, 4.7 in Greece, 
Lithakia, and as well a 4.5 here reported in Kazakhstan, Iran, and Weiwei, 4.8 China, 4.6 here, Sabang, Indonesia, 4.6 Hong Kong, Indonesia, 37 kilometer depth, and still watching all the activity through the Banda Sea, Ternate, Indonesia, 4.5, and then Admiral, what, Admiralty Islands, pretty rare earthquake as well, 5.2 here, Federated States of Micronesia, 10 kilometer depth, 4.1 reported there in Yilan, Taiwan, as well, Japan seeing a little bit of activity as well. Hasaki 4.0 and Yamada 4.4. And no earthquakes to report through the Tonga region, New Caledonia, or Kermit X. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Give you a quick browse here at the last seven days for earthquakes. And take a moment to say thank you for inviting me into your living room. And as well for tuning in to daily events worldwide. Keeping humanity aware and prepared to world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, space weather. As you can see there, largest earthquake this week across the North American plate is the 5.0 Port McNeil, Canada. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated, as well, most recent satellite imagery, Languila, Papua New Guinea, Nevada's Daru is Colombia, Sabincaya in Peru, noticing all these tornado warnings in between, Sangue in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, Krakatoa, Indonesia. That's all just in the last three hours. Fuego, Guatemala, Dokono, Indonesia, Ibu, Indonesia, Kermiski, Russia, and Semeru, Indonesia. So that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today. And did you notice all those tornado warnings going off across central United States? Look at the size of this system that has developed and it's slowly grinding eastward and northeastward. Huge Colorado low, lots of extreme weather breaking out south end and ahead of this front. Tornado warnings across three states right now. with this large low moving through. They're getting bigger, they're getting stronger, and they're getting more extreme. So stay safe out there, aware and prepared, stay tuned. All of the active tornado alerts and earthquake alerts are put out onto the 24-7 live stream. Come check it out. Another quick look across the world here. There are no tropical storms to talk about currently. But in the long range, we do have a couple developing. Tsunami watches were put out with that 5.0 earthquake, Port McNeil, Canada, but none were imminent. Stormy conditions still continuing through Wales, Australia, as well right across Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, daily evaporation rain, stormy conditions, as well flooding conditions, South Africa, wintry conditions, parts of Spain this week. Let's go. Let's have a look at the world weather forecast brought to you by Ventu Sky and Daily Events Worldwide. Starting out here, Eastern Canada, as we have this large low that is moving through, and it's going to take until Monday till it finally scoots into Quebec. At the same time, we've got a pretty sizable low moving into the west coast. It's going to bring a lot of rain for BC, higher elevation snow. And then along this convergence line from that low pressure system, watch for stormy conditions daily, slowly moving southeast across the United States. Long range do have another low developing along border region with Canada. Not quite sure which way it's going to go just yet, so stay tuned. But still, wintry lake conditions across the Canadian prairies, stormy conditions, central United States, and sweeping eastward, overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, no major systems on land, but a lot of moisture coming in 
through Venezuela and parts of northern Brazil. Stormy conditions developing here for west coastal regions of Argentina and Chile. Through Buenos Aires, Monday into Tuesday, watch for could be intense stormy conditions. Overlooking Africa, still have that low grinding in between the East Coast and Madagascar. And wet conditions continue for the tip of South Africa. Just watching this low pressure system slowly grind southward. Daily evaporation rains throughout the week, nothing major to report. Overlooking Europe, as I had noted, there are some snowy conditions moving into west coast of Spain. Other than that, things are going to start warming up. Looks like mostly rain and scattered. And only one major system to talk about there moving through Moscow later in the week. And then another one grinding through the Mediterranean. Overlooking Russia, China. Still a pretty big low moving into northern Russia, as noted in yesterday's video. And here is that tropical cyclone that will be developing here by May 3rd. May 3rd into 4th, this tropical cyclone will be alive. Most likely a Category 2 typhoon as it just misses the Mariana Islands. And it looks like it will miss Japan as well. Overlooking Australia. Parts of Northern Territory and New South Wales, Queensland. Watch stormy conditions as well. High surf. And then watch for an extreme weather breakout here. Southeastern parts through Victoria. Saturday into Sunday for the start of May, you got some pretty stormy conditions developing. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.